I imagine by Reverend Sarah R. I imagine they packed bags, water and food, blankets and clothes. I imagine they packed tools, maps and telescopes that could bring the stars closer, as if the sky was a comforter they could pull near. I imagine they hugged loved ones and said, we'll be back soon. And when loved ones said, don't leave, it's risky. You don't even know what you're chasing. I imagine they put lips to foreheads and said, there is a light in the darkness. I must chase that. And then I imagine they walked. I imagine they walked until legs were tired and knees gave out. Maybe they told stories on the road and laughed into open sky, or maybe they sat in silence and prayed for more light. However the road unfolded, I imagine it was not easy. I imagine all of this, not because I've chased stars, but because I have dreamed, and those dreams for justice make the Magi's story my own. For every time we fight for justice, we start in the dark. We hug loved ones and say, there's a light in the darkness. I must chase that. We walk until we're tired, and then we keep walking. We laugh at the open sky as a form of resistance. We pray in the night for signs of more light. And no matter how important the journey is, and no matter how much progress we make, the journey to justice is never easy. And so I pray that maybe one day we will be like the Magi and will walk ourselves into the light. Until then, don't forget, there's a light in the darkness. We must chase that.